Okay, uh, this is uh, ABS 4401. I believe the guy's name is Burns. Okay, yes, we can put an electric choke on there. All this stuff's got to come off. Different fitting, 75 bucks. I ain't really crazy about doing it, but we'll do it. As far as the back barrels, and this is the primary, this is the secondary. They are both opening exactly like they're supposed to. So I don't know what you're saying to your reference there that the secondaries aren't opening. This flapper right here controls at what time the engine allows them to air, but mechanically they are opening. However, the back barrels don't function as far as bringing in gas until this opens up. And that is called, that's what makes it an adjustable vacuum secondary. It's got a set screw over here, and you take put tension, less or more on that, to have that come in earlier or later. As far as the finish, it looks to me, that looks like the finish. So if you say you want it close to original finish, it's just going to be an unprotected gray. Now if you want it powder coated, and so it's protected, look at the ones we have on the internet. And that's what it'll look like. Now this linkage was bent. I don't know if that was bent during shipping or what, but other than that... I got bad news for you. This carburetor's not going to run any different when you get it back. Outside of a cockeyed spring right there. This thing is even adjusted properly. Well, this is coming in a little bit too soon. That's why it backfired. But like I say, that's all. carburetor on a car and drive it from here to Alaska and back. You're not going to be happy. I, I'd rather just send it back and not even mess with it because I, I can see coming down the line you're going to get it back and the car is going to run the same and you're going to say, ah, you didn't even touch it. I'd rather just send it back. You owe us uh, $60 plus return shipping.